What's going on everybody? Chase on Two Wheels here in front of Mountain Motorsports in Roswell, Georgia. And in front of us, guys, I have finally got a chance to have a first ride on KTM's RC390, their small displacement motorcycle. This is their new model, as you guys can see. It looks totally different from the last model. I have been wanting to ride one of these for so long, and Mountain finally got one in, so I am super stoked today. So, it's a first ride. Let's see what this thing looks like, and let's see if it's ready to race. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's do it. So guys, that's what it looks like and that's what it sounds like. Now, before we get this bike going, uh, this video is not sponsored, but it is supported by WBRGarage.com. That is my website where we are building a 2018 Yamaha R6 into what we're going to call an R6M. And when we get done with it, we are giving it away. So if you want a chance to win it, just go to WBRGarage.com. You can either get a membership, you can get a shirt, hoodie, you can get a freaking coffee mug. Whatever you get on that website gets you entries to win the R6. So if you're into the whole race bike vibe, you could get yourself a 2018 custom built R6 for $5 or as little as $5. If you want more entries, you can get more. But anyways, guys, uh, supporting us over there is a huge support for the channel. Thank any of you guys that are already supporting us. But let's get on this bike and let's head out. All right, phone's going to have to go in my jacket pocket because there is no quad lock place on here. Alrighty guys, that's our screen. We are in transport lock and supposedly the bike will not lock up on me as long as I don't go over 100 miles and I'm at 43. Fun fact, the first ride route is 21 miles. Let's get the bike cranked up. Uh, so guys, I am 5'10", got a 32 inch inseam. I can touch the ground here, but my legs are only slightly bent. It is going to be a little bit taller of a motorcycle. So uh, you shorter riders out there, be cautious. There are no rider modes. We have ABS and traction control. I'll talk about those here in a little while and uh with all that said let's get this thing going by the way guys if y'all uh, are fans of discord uh we got a motorcycle discord community that we are building so if you guys want to hang out with other motorcyclists in discord uh top link down below it's totally free you guys can check it out hang out with our little insider community and uh i might just see you over there and we're off let's go all right rc what you got <laughs> you got <one. laughs> oh, I love the smaller bikes. I love them. They some, certain ones will surprise you. And this is definitely one that will. Alrighty guys, we are on KTM's RC390, their low CC displacement, a basically little race bike. If, if you think it's anything different, then you are incredibly wrong. Oh, this thing is awesome. Oh man, RC390, you have a lot of competition, but Guys, the beginner bike market, the segment, is so popping right now. You guys that are starting to ride have such amazing motorcycles to choose from. I'm hoping that the RC390 can compete at such a high level of those other bikes. All right, guys, it's a first ride. Let's talk about body position. So here on the RC390, you are going to be in a little more aggressive of a body position. The seat is kind of thin, but the material that the seat is made of is very grippy. So I love that. It allows me to like get all over the place I need on the bike, and I'm going to stay in that place, which is good for when you're leaning off the bike. As far as body position goes, my lower half is tucked up a decent bit. My feet are uh, feel like they're behind me. I don't want to hit this truck. My top half is leaned over a little bit, and my arms are draped down. 
I would call this like a relaxed sport position. With this bike looking like a tiny little race bike, it kind of puts me in the position that I would really expect to be in, honestly. So guys, as we come up to this red light, this is where I typically talk about the modes on the bike. And uh, while the RC390 doesn't have modes, it does have ABS, and it has two types of ABS. It has road and supermoto. Now, what supermoto ABS is, I believe, is there's no ABS on the rear wheel, which is kind of neat, which I love that you've got the ABS on the front wheel, of course. And then uh, with traction control, it's kind of typical. You can turn it on and off but there are no power modes let me get uh let me be watching this range it says i can get 50 miles and i'm gonna push for it <laughs> we're gonna see if i can get that out uh the first started out being 21 miles so i should be able to make it oh god our gas gauge is blinking red that ain't good <laughs> let's see if we can make it i hope this video doesn't have chase running out of gas all right so guys uh for this little 373 cc single uh, power West, I think we're looking at like mid 40s for horsepower and then torque is 27 Now those numbers aren't like, you know, earth shattering or anything like that But I'm really interested in how that's gonna translate To really the highway. That's plenty of power for the city obviously But the highway is where we're really gonna need that power So we're gonna have to really be looking for that But for now, let's talk about city environment riding on the RC 390 that is interesting when the fuel range gets under 49 it literally just says fuel range is less than 49 miles but it literally just clicked over to that from 55. that's kind of interesting all right so guys when you're going around the city on the rc390 there are some definite pros and cons so we'll start with cons i always like starting with the bad news first so you are in a slightly more sport slash race position on this bike which is going to be great if you're doing something like a track day or technical riding but being leaned up on the motorcycle is going to make it a little more cumbersome when you're going around traffic and it makes it not as maneuverable as something like uh, an mt03 would have like because it has a handlebar and you're more upright so you have a better purchase on the bike and can control it that being said the bike is incredibly light and changes lanes very smoothly and very controllably very easily this is not one of those motorcycles that's going to tire you out as a rider i don't believe uh just because it weighs so little i believe it's 380 pounds or something like that i'll put it on the screen how much the bike weighs it's incredibly light and it feels incredibly light speaking of incredibly light one of the other things that's very light on this bike because of that front tire being so small is the steering is very light you can just wiggle the bike around oh wait let's do the let's check the balance let's see how slow we can get it rolling let's see if we can get a zero come on ah oh, right before i stopped uh the balance is freaking awesome man but the problem is it is a lighter motorcycle so you're not going to have that weight to kind of help you balance I almost find it easier to balance the really heavy bikes, uh, but I mean, the bike's super light. You're gonna be able to like flick it around all over the place, but I feel like the balance is good. I feel like the weight is distributed in a good way here. Uh, I got no problems. Got no problems with that at all. Another one of the pros of this bike while on uh, city riding is that single. So uh, singles are gonna give you that real torquey power uh, that gets you going quickly. And I think for city riding, those are some of my favorite engines, these small little singles, because you still get the fun, torquey feel uh, of the power delivery, but you get it in a super lightweight package, so it doesn't feel cumbersome. I think this power plant is fantastic for city riding. Is this car going to go? Are you going to allow me to just hit this? You are. Where are you going? Whee! <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, this engine is fun for city riding. It is good. Oh, we get a green light. Look at us. We got to be a little careful with how much gas we give it because we don't want to break down. Man, you can't tell me hauling through traffic on these lower CC bikes is not fun as hell. <laughs> like, these things are so great. They take no energy to do it. You get to rev all the way up through the gears. It's a very, like, engaging riding experience. Oh man, little bikes are so... Are you stopping? Okay, just double checking. I don't want to die today. I ain't trying to die today. 
Uh, yeah, but these likes, they're so engaging, so fun to ride through traffic. And the cool thing is you get to be very engaged with the motorcycle and you don't have to be going that fast. It is super fun. More Chick-fil-A robots. So yeah, guys, overall, the combo of the single cylinder with the lower CC and the lightweight, I think is a phenomenally fun combo that if you're in a city setting, would enjoy the hell out of. But where I'm kind of worried with the lightweight and the single is the highway. So we got to see how this thing handles the highway and more importantly, a 40 to 80 pole. Hello, fam. Yes. Are you going to watch the race at Monza? You're probably not. All right, guys, it's time for the highway 40 to 80 pole brought to us by our buddies over at Law Tigers. If you guys need a motorcycle lawyer, they are the ones to go with. And they got my back just in case I go over 80. But we need to see how fast this thing goes from 40 miles an hour to 80 miles an hour entirely legally. I definitely need to be in third. All right. Nobody behind or a few people behind. All right, guys. 40 to 80 pull. 2023 KTM RC 390. We need that traffic to go up a little more. Right. On your mark. Get set. God, I am so sorry, little motorcycle. Go. baby where is it where's 80 there it is good god poor little bike i am so sorry i had to ring you out so much my gosh we got there it took a little longer but we got there oh man six gear has got a great power band i love this all righty guys uh we're here on the highway with the rc 390 and I am surprised at how much power six gear has. My goodness gracious. Uh, first off, let's talk about the wind. I will say I expected a little more wind resistance out of such a big windscreen. When I tuck in, it's still hitting me directly in the helmet. So I'm not a super huge fan about that, but as far as stability here on the highway, I am borderline shocked at how stable this bike feels with it being so small and light, I expect it to be blown around, especially on a real windy day like we're having today. But this bike feels incredibly stable, far more stable than I really expected it to here on the highway, yet it keeps all of its agility that it had. Very impressive with that. Uh, also, no cruise control on this bike, no surprise. I will say the throttle is incredibly light, takes no energy to keep it where it's at. Overall for the highway, really not that bad. I think the most impressive thing is the uh, how much power this thing has high up in the revs and six gear. Uh, really surprising with that. Uh oh, fuel range less than 24 miles. So it does keep going down, oh no. <laughs> Stay tuned to find out if Chase gets lost on the side of the road. So guys, I'm gonna finish up here on the highway. Uh, Cardo, play me a cool montage that has a little bit of anxiety to see if I make it down the highway with enough gas. Alrighty guys, we are done with the highway. Thank you Cardo for sponsoring the First Start Series. If you guys need Bluetooth for your helmet, I literally could not ride without listening to music. And I use my Cardo literally daily. So highly recommend those guys. We got a discount code for you in the description. Let's get her leaned over for the big turn. <laughs> oh, this is why you buy this bike. It weighs nothing, but it feels locked onto the road and takes no energy to lean over. You, wow, that bike just came into its own. Holy snap, that's fantastic. Every motorcycle has that one braking zone. Every bike I feel has that one area where when you ride it for its intended purpose, everything starts to make sense. The RC390, the second you start leaning this bike over, that's where it is most comfortable and most at home. 
and the second you lean it over you realize why you bought this motorcycle <laughs> that how's our fuel oh 31 miles oh we're we're gaining we're gaining on the miles now all right guys rc390 versus uh baby blue take on let's see what's up yes exactly what i wanted <laughs> i got what i wanted all righty guys let's talk about the engine on this uh rc390 this little single is impressive man you wouldn't really think much of 40 uh what 44 horsepower 27 torque but i love the torque down low it feels great and then surprising amount of horsepower feel when you're at the top of six gear really impressed i don't know if they've like uh spec the bike out to be able to handle highway really easily but this thing feels absolutely solid on the highway plenty of passing power no problem with that at all this engine is really impressing me i've liked it before and i'm still really here for it the suspension here we've got the apex front and rear adjustable suspension and on a little race bike it's absolutely perfect especially a low cc bike there's not many low cc bikes with adjustable suspension and it feels great you really know that the second you lean this bike over loving the suspension so far now as far as the shifting goes in the transmission i will say i feel like the bike uh the transmission feels a little lighter at least the shifter does i wish i had a little more feel when i shifted this bike it's it's very negligible the uh the feel i get out of the shifter but as far as how the bike is geared i think the bike is geared really well i i love going up and down the gears on these uh smaller cc bikes especially with the singles it makes it really fun because you just got that torquey power so you're just like going up the revs and up the revs and new gears man torquey fun power on a super light bike is a really fun combo uh, so guys, final thing I want to talk about real quick about the ride quality of the bike are the brakes. Now we do have a single disc brake up front and right now currently I feel like I want more braking power. I want more stopping power. As you guys can see, this bike is 54 miles on it. So the brakes haven't had a ton of time to like break in. I'm hoping that the brakes, once they've like broken in, would have a lot more stopping power because right now they feel a little uh, i don't know they're not bad or dangerous or anything like that i just want a little more power out of them uh i want them to match the feeling i get out of this uh the single the single 373 cc engine because i would imagine at a track day you're going to be wanting to ride all sporty and then you go for the brakes and there's just not as much uh not as much bite as i want them to have actually here's what we can do if any of you guys in the comments are watching this video if any of y'all own a 2023 uh let us know in the comments down below like do y'all's brakes do they get better over time or do you feel like you want more braking out of them as well and uh just let us know how many miles you've got on your bike that's really helpful all righty my friends let's talk about the controls up here on the rc390 uh, we already talked about the suspension, so we're not going to talk about those, even though there are dials up here. Uh, first off, grips-wise, the grips are pretty decent. I put them about middle of the road. I don't really have any problems with them specifically. I'm not a huge fan of the material they're made of, uh, but they're fine. We do have adjustable levers, which are blacked out, which I'm totally here for. I will say that I feel like I can't get the clutch lever adjusted out far enough. It engages too late for me, and I, I have a hard time only using two fingers with it. Uh, so if I were to buy this motorcycle, I would probably swap the levers out uh, for something a little nicer. Uh, Buttons-wise, over here, if you've ridden other KTMs, it looks very KTM-ish. Uh, but these buttons just don't have the tactile feel that I really find myself wanting on a KTM. Now, this isn't an overly expensive motorcycle at 5800 but when it comes to a ktm being a premium brand i do expect things to be a little nicer and i just don't get the feedback from these buttons uh as far as usability they work fantastic um i love the the way ktm has their dial set up and how it works with the screen i got no problems with any of that i just want more feedback uh over here we have a very bulky side kind of looks like a honda where you have a ton of space 
a giant starter button and then a very tiny kill switch and then of course we have our attack uh, our screen up front which is our tft we love seeing a tft on a bike that's a uh, fantastic of course it's ktm so it's black orange and white uh, i think the screen works totally adequately i think they laid out the information really well uh, overall though i will say the front cockpit view of the bike I don't know there's something about it that feels a little cheap for me i'm not really sure what it is i don't know if it's like this molded plastic metal looking stuff and the material it is or or what but something is not giving me like premium ktm uh we can talk about these mirrors though they are huge they look like wings but i'll tell you they are probably one of the top three mirrors that i've ever used on a motorcycle so I am totally here for them, and you can adjust them uh, a ton, they, and, and they work. I mean, that's, that's the main point, right? They actually work. Uh, so great job on the mirrors. Love that. So guys, uh, we're going to pull off up here if this truck ends up continuing to go. Uh, we're going to pull off up here and do a little walk around of this bike. We do have a brand new model and a brand new look, so I know you guys have been getting a look at all the camera car footage, uh, but you know, you know, I like to rock, I like to walk around these things. And it still says we got 31 miles to E, so we absolutely love it. Oh, that's one thing I didn't mention. The blinkers are that blinker where it blinks both color or both sides to let you know that a blinker is going. It doesn't tell you one side or the other. I hate that. I have hated that on every motorcycle that I've ever owned with that. This has it. I will continue to hate it. I don't know why. I, for no reason, can't stand it. Alrighty, my little KTM. It's Lou. We'll walk around. Weird looking kickstand too. Check that thing out. Alrighty, guys, this is your 2023 KTM RC390. We have a totally new look this year, and I love it. I didn't necessarily hate the old one, but wasn't a huge fan. I think this one looks fantastic. Uh, as you guys can see, the Apex suspension here in the front and the rear. This bike just, it exudes tiny little race bike you got the i love the subframe i gotta say the little tubular subframe and it goes into what is easily the best tail section of any of the low cc bikes uh, absolutely fantastic you get the race looking exhaust this bike ktm just decided you know what our distinguishing characteristic on our low cc bike is going to be it's going to be a little race bike we're just going to lean into it so they've gone full lean into it and i appreciate that i i think it's hilarious i think it it looks the part and it differentiates them from all the other low cc bikes uh, the only thing i don't like about the looks is something about this center area with the wires just routed the way they are it, it looks like a dude at his house got a small race bike kit and put it together and didn't worry about tucking wires away and, and really cleaning it up. That's the only issue I really have with that, if I'm going to be honest. Everything else, though, I, I'm really here for. Obviously, it's KTM. They've got the orange going on. But I also do love this blue that KTM has been doing. It's absolutely fantastic, at least in my opinion. Having the integrated turn signals. Check these things out if you guys haven't seen them. I guess you have in the camera car footage but uh look at that built in super sleek absolutely love that very slick there uh the windscreen also while you know from a from a wide shot i think it looks awesome looks fine got no problems when you get close up to it and you realize you got all this negative space here and it looks massive and it doesn't funnel the wind that well I'm kind of like, why that? Why is that thing so big? And I can't even tuck in enough to get underneath the bubble of the wind. It's kind of strange. Uh, so, guys, I'm going to grab my phone, and we're going to do uh, some vertical video for our guys over on Instagram and TikTok. If you guys aren't following us over there, we're at Chase on Two Wheels on TikTok, and we're at C2D Picks on Instagram. I'm going to film some video for those guys, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, that is the video for the peeps over with the verticals. So let's do a steering stem lock test. Let's talk about if I would purchase or pass on it. And then who's this bike for? All right, it's still cranked up with a transport lock. That was good. We're, we're working through it. All right, we are in first gear. Steering stem is locked. No cars are coming. Steering stem actually has a decent lock. All right, little KTM, I'm giving you a 40 percentile. That's not bad. That's better than half the, that's better than over half the market. The question is though, would I buy it? 
Alrighty guys, purchase or pass on the RC390. So guys, most of you guys probably know, I have a 450SS from CF Moto at the house. And if I'm comparing this bike to a bike I already have, I don't think I would purchase the RC390. And here's basically why. If if I were to buy this motorcycle, it would have to be my bike that I use only for track days. And I do feel like where I'm at as a rider, I would like a little more power out of a motorcycle that I'm gonna do a track day with. I, I did a track day on the Aprilia 660 and I loved that bike, but even that bike, I, I got into some locations where like I wish I could eke more power out of it. So I don't think this would be the right bike for me. So I'm gonna go pass on it because you are in a pretty aggressive body position here. And if you're not gonna be doing aggressive riding, then I don't know if this is really the bike for you. But the question is, who is this bike for? Uh, one, if you're just a general fan of KTM and you're getting into riding, this is probably one of the better bikes KTM offers to start on. If you're not going to be doing sporty riding and you love KTM, I would recommend you look at the Duke 390. Same engine, different body position. I think you guys will enjoy that one a lot. Now, if you guys are maybe a big fan of KTM, you've got a bigger KTM bike, you know, you got like an 890 Duke at the house or something like that, and you're looking into doing track days, this bike would be a phenomenal entry point to learn track days on. It's got a power delivery that's really fun and peppy. It's super light, so it's not gonna be exhausting going through a track day. And you guys can ride this bike and just tell this thing exudes take me to a track. Which, if KTM's line is ready to race, uh, this bike is the literal embodiment of that. I have never ridden a motorcycle that felt so much like it was designed to go to the track than this one. I mean, maybe some of the really big, like, CBR 1000 RRRRSP things. But for low CC bike to have adjustable front and rear suspension, to have everything that this bike has, I mean, anybody that has done a track day can look at this bike and be like, yeah, they, they really designed that to go to the track. You got the adjustable clip-ons and stuff like that. If you want to get into track days, but you don't want to have too much power because you don't want to get yourself in trouble, I don't know if a better bike exists on the market right now. And if you're a KTM fan, then I imagine you're probably already sold. How many miles we got left? Less than 31. All right. Keeping the fingers crossed. So, guys, that's about all I've got on the RC390 here. Overall, phenomenal little package for the beginner bike market. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And before I get out of here, big shout out to the guys over at Mountain Motorsports. I'll have a bike provided by link in the description down below if you guys want to check them out. If I didn't have those guys letting me loan these bikes out, I wouldn't be able to do these first rides for you guys. If you're in the North Georgia area and you need a motorcycle, those are the guys to go check out. They got a huge inventory. You guys will definitely find something you like there. Uh, but guys, I'm Chase on Wheels. You guys ride safe. If you made it to this point in the video, you're in the outro crew. That means you made it to the end. Make sure to put OC in your comment down below after you like the video and let me know do you think there is a better low CC track bike that would be only for track better than this one? Very interesting. Let me know why in the comments down below. You guys ride safe out there in this crazy world, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and here at the end of the video, I'm going to put the old RC390 first ride. You guys watch both of them and let me know which one you thought that I enjoyed more. Later, y'all.